is so pretty. I know that I played it, but I still think it's so pretty. Hey, y'all, Banjo Ben here. I want to talk about how to take basic slow melodies and turn them into something like you just heard, particularly over that C chord where we did that pretty tremolo. This song is called Near the Cross. It's an old hymn, and the melody is very simple. It's this. Near the cross, near the cross. But I took it to... Let's talk about how I got there and how you can get there with other slow melodies that you have, how to make them more interesting. Well, again, the basic melody, we could take that basic melody and put it all on one string and get like a slide sound to it. Try, you can try that with your melody. So it would sound like something like this. And then we can always trim low when we're going slow on mandolin. It helps fill in the space. It would sound something like this. And then beyond that, we can add some harmony notes. We're over a C chord, so I can grab some other notes in a C chord and tremolo those with them. Here's a C chord. And then when we move up here, there's part of a C chord. So, But I think then comes the funnest part, and that's incorporating other chords that are in the key, or at least that's the easiest way to do it. Grab another chord that's in the key, move to it, and then move back to the chord that you're supposed to be on. And that's a way to unlock the magic of a lot of this mandolin harmony tremolo. So I'm going to choose to um, incorporate that D chord. So we're over a C chord, but if I weave in some D chord, it's going to sound great. So I'm going to go C, up a whole step to D. And then I could go right to that melody. I could go. That would work. Or while I'm here, I could jump up and use that same inversion we've already learned over the C chord for the D chord, so here. And then once I get there, go back down to the C chord I'm supposed to be on. So the movement goes like this. C, D, D, back to C. And when we tremolo through that, it sounds great. So we've taken this basic melody from here, near the cross, to here, to here, to here. To hear. And we can do that with all kinds of simple melodies. And that's a great way to think about how to make our mandolin playing more robust when we're playing these slow ballad type melodies. Why don't you give it a try? And if you like that, you're going to like everything else I put out too. I put out lots of videos here. You want to subscribe to my channel and be sure and click that little bell notification so that you're notified. Drop me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about thinking um, or about approaching these slower mandolin melodies. And if you loved that near the cross, you might want to learn it. You can do that over on the website, banjobeanclark.com, as a Gold Pick member. I'd be honored to have you.